the first most important COP happened in 1997 at Kyoto and this is COP third and the major outcome was the Kyoto Protocol. This Kyoto Protocol is very famous because it aims to control the emission of greenhouse gases and this protocol came into force in 1995 when the parties ratified it and the aim is to control the greenhouse gas with a principle of common but differentiated responsibility. It means common means every country in the world has responsibility to control the greenhouse gas emission but the responsibility is differentiated because all countries are not advised to take up the same same effort because we know we have discussed the time like historical emissions these historical emissions were made by the industrialized countries in the era of industrialization mainly the European countries and America and they are responsible for the major greenhouse gas emissions that have already happened so those countries are supposed to take up more efforts than the other countries that is the differentiation principle that is there in the Kyoto Protocol so these countries are divided into different categories annex 1 annex 2 annex b annex b is there that is about the emission individual emission quota and non annex countries so three groups are there annex 1 annex 2 and non annex and annex 1 countries include 37 industrialized countries and the european union and these countries are given individual emission quota so that they should achieve the emission reduction they are allowed to emit only as per the quota they are not supposed to cross the quota limit if they are crossing the quota limit there are legal measures and other measures specified in the protocol what they should do that means the protocol is legally binding on the annex on countries for the emission reduction annex b so annex b about annex b is about individual targets so each country is given different targets according to their capacity and industrialization levels and how this kyoto protocol works kyoto protocol works we saw that there are given quota and if they are not following the quota limits there are different mechanisms like joint implementation carbon trading clean development mechanisms by the way of the which they can buy excess extra quota or they can sell the quota unused also that carbon trading is to encourage the countries to take up more emission targets if they are able to implement more than that they have committed and in the annex 2 includes 24 countries and the European Economic Union. So this European Economic Union and 24 countries are supposed to support the other countries in adaptation and mitigation measures. They are supposed to provide funds and technologies and transfer technology to other developing and underdeveloped countries so to help them to adapt to the climate change and also to help them to mitigate the emissions and other countries are included in the non annex category and this Kyoto protocol has mentioned certain gases as the Kyoto gases where they are supposed to control the emissions and these are the greenhouse gases mentioned Initially, there were six greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons and sulfur hexafluoride and later one more gas was added in the list and this happened in 2012, 2012 COP it was added and initially in Kyoto COP there were six gases, they are commonly called as Kyoto gases and this is the gases we, uh, the protocol is trying to achieve the emission reduction. We saw that the Kyoto Protocol acts on differentiated responsibility. Differentiated responsibility is that it requires annex countries to commit 
for the emission reduction. The common aim is to achieve 5% reduction from the 1990 emission levels by 2012. So it came to force from 2008 to 2010, which is commonly called as the first commitment period. And it was further carried on with the second commitment period from 2013 to 2020. It was agreed in the COP 2012. And in this, there were individual targets given, which are, which are mentioned in the Annex B of the protocol. So, this is the case about the Annex countries. What is the responsibility of the non-Annex countries? There are two different actions. Nationally appropriate mitigation action. So, these are adopted by the developing countries like India, China, etc. So, they are given flexibility to adopt mitigation plans that are appropriate for their condition, economic and development conditions. And these are not legally binding, this voluntary. So, if they are not able to commit to the, their commitment, no action can be taken against these countries, but they are encouraged to individually take up voluntary actions for the mitigation protection. And NAPA is for undeveloped countries, underdeveloped countries. So they are focusing more on the adaptation. This NAPA is National Adaptation, adaptation Program for Action. National Adaptation Program for Action, mostly underdeveloped and least developed countries, commonly called as LDCs, are at the risk of the climatic disasters caused by the global climate change. So, they need greater help in adapting to the climate change. That's why they are coming up with National Adaptation Plan, National Adaptation Program for Action. And this were agreed in the ba Bali COP, COP at Bali. So, here is how the differentiated mechanism act. What if these countries are unable to <coughs> commit to their quota, emission quota? They can trade. Carbon trading is allowed. So, carbon trading is allowed and the clean development mechanism is allowed and joint implementation is allowed. Now, let us see about what is this carbon trading. So, carbon trading the carbon units are traded as like any other commodity. So it is called carbon credits. For example, if a country is achieving more emission reduction than their quota, they can convert it to carbon credits and can trade in the international market. So other country which was not able to achieve its quota can purchase this carbon credit from the country and can show in their records that they have achieved the, their quota targets like like this this mechanism work so here it is traded in the terms of emission units so emission units are mentioned in the terms of tons of carbon dioxide how much ton of CO2 reduction is achieved that is the unit and this carbon market contains three types of units one is removal unit second is emission reduction unit and third is Certified Emission Reduction Unit. Removal use removal unit is based on the land use changes. Land use changes is forestry. If the country is undertaking any forestry actions or forestation, they can tell that we have removed 
this much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. That is the method of carbon sequestration, sequestration, right? So we can calculate the amount of carbon dioxide that is removing from the atmosphere also, and it is it can be traded in the terms of removal units. An emission reduction unit is from the joint implementation. Here the joint implementation is there. Joint implementation is there. One annex B country can implement a project in another annex B country. So it is joint operation. So two countries can come together. Both are annex B countries come together and implement a project. And the person who is implementing the project can claim the reduction, emission reduction units that it has achieved. For example, some projects like solar power projects. So they will achieve some emission reduction, right? Compared to the coal thermal projects, this emission reduction achieved by the solar power project can be calculated as unit. Similarly, if they are implementing any energy efficiency project, for example, a replacement of incandescent lamp with CFL lamps, we are achieving energy energy saving there energy saved means emissions reduced right so this can be calculated in terms of the emission reductions achieved so this are all this is also one unit that can be traded and next is certified emission reduction units this is achieved by the clean development mechanism clean development mechanism is implemented by the annex b countries on any other non annex countries so they are undertaking some projects under this clean development mechanism and they will get certified emission reduction unit like how much this project has achieved emission reduction in the implementing country so this all this transaction will be registered in log there is a repository for the transaction in carbon trading all these are registered and monitored for engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.